a great book in my mind is a great idea and that's the reason you pick up the book but that's not the reason you read the book the reason you read the book is because a great idea is told through a great story so let me begin with the story of a couple of ants who were found themselves in a book library and there was uh, an ant which ran up the stairs into the business section of the book which read uh, 10 steps to make a presentation another ant ran up to the another bookstore and saying how can you become a ceo in your first 10 years a third ant ran up the store and saying how can you earn your first million dollars in 3 years so all these ants were running around trying to grab onto books to try and grab onto ideas which can make them rich which can make them grow fast which can make them become ceos which can make them all things they wanted to become there was one ant sitting on a chair with legs up looking outside and laughing his head off and all these ants running around were looking at this ant who was laughing his head off and not looking at any book not reading anything else and saying this guy is mad but this guy is, has his legs up looking outside and laughing his head off and then they got together and saying what's happened what's wrong with you why are you not reading anything he says because i don't want to be a rich ant i don't want to be a fast ant i don't want to be a general management ant i don't want to be a good presentation ant i want to be a butterfly i want to stop being an ant i think we have too many ants floating around in our business community in our societies in our conversations and we need more people who don't want to do what others have done and these people start with an assumption that i don't want to be an ant anymore i want to be a butterfly when you look at the word transform which is changing the form of something transform is changing the form of something permanently transform how can you change the form of something permanently by doing what others have done before you you cannot therefore great ideas and great books and great stories are about ideas which have the possibility of transforming society business community anybody and that led that word transform led me to a discovery of an idea and that idea was why do we have so few steve jobs bill gates nelson mandela's mahatma gandhi's martin luther kings why don't we have these sets of people in billions why do we have them in handful i don't know what the right answer is but it really comes down to the definition of what does it take somebody to succeed what does high performance individual and high performance teams mean what does it take for a person to be high performance and it comes from the belief that high performing individual or high performing team believes that they can do what others considered impossible so that's a definition you know there is no book on my table there is right in front of me but this is a quote which is right in front of my table for the last 20 25 years that high performance individuals and high performance teams do stuff which others consider impossible now if you think about that definition the question you need to ask is what percentage of your time are you attempting the impossible i mentor a lot of young kids and i think it comes down to the single thing which i keep on telling them what percentage of your time are you attempting the impossible i know you are thinking of the impossible you want to do the impossible what percentage of your time are you attempting the impossible and that brings back to the idea of a diamond cutter gets excited with rough diamond not cut diamond a potter gets excited with rough clay not finished pot and therefore in your life if you are not attracted with challenges with stuff others have not done below by 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 all the dirt around you how can you transform or how can you even inspire yourself to achieve the impossible so if you ever wish to transform something including yourself if you ever wish to be a high performance then the journey becomes on attempting the impossible